Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to have this opportunity to say a few words on the occasion of the launch of the biography of Prince Banda bin Sultan, a man whom I admire greatly and proudly counts as a dear friend. There are few people in the world today who deserve to have the story of their lives and works recorded in a biography more than does Prince Banda. He is a consummate international statesman with whom I had the great privilege of working and cooperating on a number of occasions and issues. And what rates him so highly in my esteem is that he is above all a man of peace, seeking in a world of conflict to find a common ground, compromise, and a basis for peaceful coexistence. For the past two decades, Prince Banda had been a roving international peacemaker, exercising astonishing influence in international affairs and bringing his diplomatic skills and experience to a variety of places and instances. His patience and resilience in the face of forces that often seemed bent on destruction rather than compromise are the characteristics that I cherish about Prince Banda. I have come to know the man Banda quite intimately over the years. Ours had been a lasting and personal friendship. He has given me my organization and my country unhesitating support over the years, during which time he has been unambiguously honest and incredibly generous. He was key in building strong relationships between our two countries. Banda is a charming, eloquent, and nonetheless humble figure who has so often guided the pattern of world events. His story deserves telling and international recognition. We owe William Simpson thanks for undertaking this important task of documenting such a remarkable life. I congratulate my friend, Prince Banda, for the deserved recognition he receives through this publication. Most importantly, I thank him for what he has contributed to world affairs. I thank you.